today's the day, June 10th, 2020. After six months being locked out of Thailand where I've had my cancer treatment, I finally am able to get in and see a specialist. They prioritized and rushed my appointment, which I am highly grateful for. I uh, had to go through a family physician first to get a recommendation. They weren't taking new patients during the stay-at-home orders. So this is a big deal. I really appreciate that I'm finally going to be able to go in and see a urologist. I don't have insurance. Medicaid has not come through. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pay up front, start my appointments, get my samples, my, my blood samples, urine samples. I'm sure he'll want to do even like a ultrasound, schedule a few other tests. And my only choice is to just keep moving forward with this. I, I guess it's just too serious to wait any longer. I've been six months past due on any checkups out of no choice. I have insurance outside of the country, but I do not have insurance in the U.S. And I could do it anywhere, but the borders have been closed. I've been locked in. No way to get out. So this is my time. This is my moment. To be honest, I, I'm apprehensive. I'm, I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. A lot of memories pop back into my mind. It's like uh, pain recognition, just thinking through the past year. Not knowing what would unfold, the severity of the cancer. what that would mean for me as a man. So it's one of those moments you just gotta be strong, you just gotta face the lion, you know, head on, you just gotta go. You can't let fear hold you back. I mean, I would love to be ignorant, just do nothing, no checkups, just let it go and hope for the best. But that's not being responsible. I've got two beautiful kids. I've got a life ahead of me and I just have to believe in it, no matter how hard this is. So I just came out of the doctor's office and I gotta tell you, I was so nervous I forgot my mask, never forgotten it before. And I was missing the turn into the doctor's office, parked in the completely wrong spot. I was about 10 minutes late to my appointment, total anxiety. And just as I mentioned earlier, completely nervous to talk with the doctor about my situation. And now I should be, I am shocked at how simple that went. When I first walked in, they said they don't take Medicaid. And I had already paid up front for my appointment with the understanding that maybe I could be reimbursed. But they went ahead and let me in anyways. And I met with the doctor and after he looked over my records and talked through my history, he decided to actually do an inspection right there and then in the doctor's office because it would save me a ton of money compared to going and having surgery once again. So this was without any anesthetic and I was quite nervous. He was able to take a scope and go right up and look into my bladder Look through my urethra. Yes, I had stricture, but I don't have cancer. <laughs> he 
couldn't see any tumors. After six months of waiting, to have this news is just overwhelming. It's such a mixed feeling too because I went through so many procedures, so many different operations, carrying a catheter around for weeks at different times. And to just go in to a simple doctor's appointment and hear that I'm okay. After waiting six months, it's it's amazing. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually happy. I'm just shocked. I'm relieved. I feel like I have an opportunity for my life to keep moving forward. I mean, to know what this means to a man, to his anatomy. Not that I'm completely in the clear. I have to come back every three months and do a check. Just like I was told before that it's a very high risk for it returning, that it not only could be in the urethra, but it could also be in the bladder. But to know that the procedure was so much simpler than what I've been doing and that my life is not in a massive change once again is just so... <laughs> That's just such incredible news. Knowing that this was on my mind for whatever was next in my life, trying to start with a new job or anything, I just, it was just so overwhelming. And now to know that at least for the next three months, I'm in the clear once again. I'm just so grateful.